acknowledging, oh God, that you are our God. Yes, and you are here in this place today. And I just worship the living God.
places too. But we will stand all the time with you, O oh God. Declaring your goodness, O oh God. Declaring the works of your hands in our lives, O oh God. And it is you alone, O oh God. And it is you alone, Jesus. And all these things, O oh God. All the praises, all the glory, O oh God. With all our heart, we bring back them all to you alone. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Good morning, City of First Assembly. God is good and great is His faithfulness. Amen. Hallelujah. We are now on the third Sunday of this month of November, two Sundays away from our 50th church anniversary and Thanksgiving celebration. Are you excited? I know you are. Hallelujah. Before we go farther, let us pray. Father, thank you for this beautiful day. Thank you for the opportunity to preach your word through this online broadcast. We pray for clarity and understanding to those who will receive it and the anointing of the Holy Spirit for your servant as I preach. For this I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. We've been talking here for three Sundays already on our theme, the divine perspective of God's glorious deeds. God is glorious in all His ways. Amen? The truth is, all that He does are glorious. From beginning to end, His deeds are glorious. Hallelujah. Can you say amen? Praise God. You know what? Even in what we perceive as unlikely circumstances, God still does glorious deeds. Bisan sa mga Kahigayunan, mga kaigsunan, ngagilantaw na itong murag dili maayo. But let me tell you, God still does glorious deeds. His power to will and to act according to His good pleasure is not influenced by our situation. Amen. Hallelujah. He is God and He will remain to be God for He is the same yesterday, today, and forever. You know what? God can turn chaos into glorious. Hallelujah. Let me give you an example, dear brothers and sisters. In Genesis chapter 1, verse 1 to 4, it says, In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. The earth was without form and void, and darkness was on the face of the deep, and the Spirit of God was hovering over the face of the waters. Then God said, let there be light, and there was light. And God saw the light that it was good. See, gikan sa kangit God was able to create light out of darkness. God can turn chaos into glorious. Hallelujah. God is glorious in all He does. Most often, dear brothers and sisters, man's perception or judgment on things is based on what he sees on the surface. Sumala lang sa iyang makitaan, sumala lang sa itong makitaan, sa atong mga mata, mga kaigsunan, on the surface. We can't see things the way God sees it. God sees beauty in all things. Ang gino, makalantaw, o manindot, gikan sa mga butang, tanang butang, mga kaigsunan. God sees beauty in ugliness. God sees order in chaos. This is what we call divine perspective. Atong palantaw lahi kaysa paglantaw sa Dios. Hallelujah. God sees beauty in all things. Now tonight, today, my dear brothers and sisters, I want you to open your Bibles with me to John chapter 11. And let us read verses 1 to 4 and read the rest of the verses later as we move along with the message. Let's start from verse 1. John chapter 11, verse 1. Hallelujah. It says here, Now a man named Lazarus was sick. He was from Bethany, the village of Mary and her sister Martha. This Mary, whose brother Lazarus now lay sick, was the same 
one who poured perfume on the Lord and wiped his feet with her hair. So when the sister sent word to Jesus, Lord, the one you love is sick. And when he heard this, Jesus said, This sickness will not end in death. No, it is for God's glory so that God's Son may be glorified through it. Hallelujah. May the Lord add more blessing upon the reading of His precious words. You know what, dear brothers and sisters, there are times in our life that we get impatient. What ang tagpailob, mga kaigsunan? Doubtful. And even we question the things that are going on in us and around us. We have our own perspective on what should happen and what should not happen according to how we view the situation. Do you feel the same thing, dear brothers and sisters? Ay mga butang mga kaigsunan nga atong panglantaw, may ngunta nga, kani unta mo'y angayan, o kani mo'y dili angayan. Mga ni mga butang ang dapat may tabo. Because we look things on the surface. We don't see things like how God sees it. In this account, dear brothers and sisters, we are to learn three lessons which I believe will strengthen our faith in God and we are to talk about His timing, His ways, and His judgment. For I believe God is glorious in all He does. Amen. Hallelujah. So the title of this message is God's Glorious Deeds. Out of our theme for this whole month, Divine Perspective of God's Glorious Deed. I said it in, in the opening that all that God does is glorious. Ang tanang buhaton o gibuhat sa Dios, mahimayaon o alang sa iyang kahimayaan. Hallelujah. There are things, mga igsoon, nga we thought nga it should not supposed to happen. But it happened. Hallelujah. And we think nga dili yung tatoy maayog ang ayan. But you know what? Hallelujah. God still, God is glorious in all He does. Hallelujah. So let's go to our text, hallelujah, for this morning, God's glorious deeds. In the story, dear brothers and sisters, Martha and Mary sent a word to Jesus that their brother Lazarus was sick. And so Martha and Mary expect Jesus to come immediately as soon as the news reaches his ears that Lazarus was critically ill. But you know what? He did not, he did not came and heal Lazarus. Jesus did not run and heal him. Instead, if you read verse 6, verse 6 tells us that, so when Jesus heard that Lazarus was sick, you know what he did? He stayed where he was two more days. Nagpabilin siya, imbis nga nakadungog siya mga kaigsunan, nga nagsakit ang iyang Pinalangga nga higala nga si Lazarus. What Jesus did was he stayed where he was two more days. And when Jesus arrived in Bethany, home of Lazarus and her sisters, Jesus found out that Lazarus had already been in the tomb for four days. Masa ding ningad to na sa mga igsunan sa Bethany, ang dapit ni Lazarus o mga igsun. Iyang nakaplagan mga igsun ni Jesus nga, Si Lazarus was in the tomb for four days. Upat na sa kaadlaw, nga ginubong mga ikson. Now, you know what? It looks like Jesus was late. Murabag, tanaw na to. Murabag na late si Jesus na ulahi. But let me tell you something, dear brothers and sisters. God's never early, nor never late, but He is always on time. Amen. Hallelujah. Point number one, God's glorious deeds. Why is it that God in, in, in everything or God does in everything that God uh, does, mga kaigsunan, He does it with, in His glory and His honor. Hallelujah. Ano ganina, mga kaigsunan? In everything that God does, it is for His glory. Nga naman, because number one lesson, mga kaigsunan, that we can learn out of this story is that God's timing is always perfect. Ang iyang timing, mga kaigsunan, kanunay, Perfect. Hingpit, mga igson. Hallelujah. It looks like 
that Jesus was late, but God's never early. He's never been late, and but He's always on time. Our timing, dear brothers and sister, isn't God's timing. Masahin mo yung unta sa story. Kung wala na to nakita o gayo o nabasa gayong story, mga kaigsunan, makaingunta mga kaigsunan nga late si Jesus. You know what? But our timing isn't God's timing. For us, God's timing often feels like a long, desperate delay. Masahin mga kaigsunan, ano na tayo mga pag-ampo. And, pero nadugay o tubag mga kaigsunan. Ano na yung mga circumstances nga itong nakitaan mga igsoon nga for us, we thought that God will answer it quickly. But for us, makaingunta, God's timing often feels like a long, desperate delay. But let me encourage you there, brothers and sisters. God's timing is always perfect. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God's timing, you know, is always perfect and you can trust God's perfect timing. Kasaligan na to sa tanang higayon ang, ang, ang panahon or ang timing sa ginoo, mga kaigsunan. Amen. Hallelujah. God's perfect timing, you know what, does two things. Hallelujah. For the disciples, to Martha, to Mary, and to you as well, or to me as well. Hallelujah. Ano na lesson, mga kaigsunan, nga itong makaplagan Nining gitawag nga God's perfect timing. Because, you know what, ingon pa sila, even God's delays are not His denials. Bisan tuod o nadugay, pero wala na nagpasabot mga kaigsunan nga gidinan na ta sa Diyos pagtubag sa atong mga pagampo. Hallelujah! God's perfect, perfect timing does two things for the disciples, to Martha, to Mary, and to us as well. Hallelujah. Mauna nga, lantaw na ito mga kaigsunan. Unsa di ay ang uh, purpose sa ginoo. We need to always look on the purposes of God on His delays. Number one mga kaigsunan. Siguro sa una-una sa mga disciples, mga kaigsunan nga, nga nung, wala, nga nung gidug, nagpagaduay dugay pa man si Jesus pang nga ito, nga kang uh, Lazarus and heal Him. You know what? The lesson that we can learn out of these delays, or what we call divine delays, is that first, it grows our faith as we learn to wait and trust in God. Kanida yung divine delays or mga delays sa tubags to mga pag-ampo o mga kaigsunan, it teaches us, mga kaigsunan, so that it will grow our faith as we learn to wait and trust in God. In verse 15, in John chapter 11, Jesus said to his disciples, I was glad I was not there so that you may believe. Human nga, gibalita nga namatay na si Lazarus mga kaigsunan, ingon si Jesus nga to siya mga disciples, I was glad I was not there. Why? So that, ingon siya, so that you may believe. Aron nga mutuo mo. See? Makita na to mga kaigsunan that one of the Things, two things that will benefit us of this divine delays, mga kaigsunan, is that it grows our faith as we learn to wait and trust in God. You see, everything God does was for His purpose and pleasure. It teaches us to wait and trust His timing. Amen? Hallelujah. So mga kaigsunan, there might be some delays to your prayers, to your requests, to your petitions. But let me tell you, my dear brothers and sisters, God, God's timing is always perfect. He wants to teach us, He wants to te teach you, hallelujah, to trust in Him as we wait on His answer. Hallelujah. Second thing that we can uh, that we can learn out of these divine delays is that it makes certain, dear brothers and sisters, it makes certain that He alone gets all the glory and praise. Kaning mga divine delays or dugay nga tubag sa ginos itong mga pag-ampo, mga kaigsunan, 
Hallelujah. Mutudlo ka ni nato nga or makapaklaro ka nato mga kaigsunan nga siya o siya lang yun ang mudawat sa tanang himaya o tanang mga pagdahig. Amen. Hallelujah. Ingon siya in verse 4, John chapter 11, Jesus said to His disciples, This sickness will not end in death. No. Ingon siya, It is for God's glory so that God's Son may be glorified through it. Hallelujah. Itudluan ta ni ini, mga kaigsunan ni ini, mga divine delays. Hallelujah. To make certain that He alone, na siya lang yun, gets all the glory and praise. Hallelujah. Brothers and sisters, let me, you know what, don't get encouraged kung dugay, mitubag ang ginoo sa imong mga pag-ampo. Don't get discouraged. Hold on to His promises. Always look for God's purpose on His delay and trust His timing. Why? Because God's timing is always perfect. Hallelujah. Ex- expect God to come through. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. There's a verse in the Bible in Isaiah chapter 40 verse 31. Nga mo fit kayo mga kaigsunan, hindi kitawag na ito nga uh, purposes of God in His delays. Isaiah chapter 40 verse 31 in the New King James Version, it says, But those who wait on the Lord, hallelujah, shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Hallelujah. Laigo ng Diyos. So we need to always look for God's purpose on His delay. Hallelujah. Ingo na kong kaganina, which is our point number one, is that God's timing is always, can you say always, always perfect. Hallelujah. My dear brothers and sisters, you know what? God will deliver you at the right time. God will answer your prayers at the right time. And God will give you your breakthrough at the right time. You know what? The right time is His time. Oh, give Him the glory that He deserves. Amen? The right time is His right time, not our time. Dili ang atong kaugalingong pag-evaluate sa insaktong panahon. But the right time is according to His time. Amen? Hallelujah. There was a passage in the Bible in Galatians chapter 4 verse 4. And I like it, mga kaigsunan. It says there, But when the fullness of the time comes, God sent forth His Son, born of a woman, born under the law, to redeem those who are under the law. Hallelujah. You know what? God is, God's timing is always perfect. Even His delays, mga kaigsunan, hallelujah, are not His denials. His delays, dear brothers and sisters, does not destroy His plan. Wala na otro ang plano sa ginoo, mga kaigsunan. In fact, that's His whole plan. Hallelujah. Amen. Dalai ko ng Diyos. So mga pag-ampo, mga kaigsunan, in this month, of, in this uh In this month of celebration, celebrating God's glorious deeds, hallelujah. Look at, we, we need to look at every circumstance, hallelujah, in God's perspective, mga kaigsunan. Because we believe, hallelujah, that God's never been late or nor He's er- too early. But God is always on time. His timing is always perfect. Hallelujah. Give Him the praise that He deserves today. Amen. Dalaygo ng Diyos. Hallelujah. Secondly, about God's glorious deeds, ganong glorious ang iyong mga buhat because He is always, you know, His timing is always perfect. Dalaygo ng Diyos. Secondly, you know what? The disciples could have asked themselves, sa diyang nadunggan nila mga kaigsunan ang balita nga si Lazarus was sick, 
The disciples could have asked themselves, why won't he just heal him right away? Like what he did to others who come to him. Nakapangutan na siguro mga disciples ba? Nagpangutan anay siguro sila silang kaugalingon nga. Nga naman nga dili na lang niya tuon, diha-diha dayon, ugayuhon si Lazarus, sama sa yang gibuhat nga to sauban. Di ba mga ikson? But in our perspective, sa atong panlantaw, that should be the right thing to do at that moment, right? Baka yung tanga mo, ito na insakto. But God has an eternal perspective. Lahi ang panglantaw sa Diyos, mga kaigsunan. Pan, uh, eternal lang yan panlantaw. He is the great I am. Amen? And He not only sees the present na situation, but He also sees the past and even the future. Because He is the great I am. He is omniscient, omnipotent, omnipresent God. Hallelujah. In the Bible, God said it this way in Isaiah chapter 58, 55 verse 8 to 9 in the New King James Version. In the same way, For my thoughts are not your thoughts, nor are your ways my ways, says the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways and my thoughts than your thoughts. Hallelujah. God is glorious in everything He does because His timing is always perfect. And secondly, mga kaigsunan, God is glorious in everything He does because God's ways are always right. Can I hear an amen? Hallelujah. Dalaygo ng Diyos. God's ways are always right. Ang iyang mga pamagi, kanunay, insakto mga kaigsunan. Hallelujah. Ang iyang mga ang, ang atong mga plano, ang iyang mga plano is higher pa, pa kaayo sa atong mga plano mga kaigsunan. You know what? Surely Jesus could have healed Lazarus right away. But he wanted to stretch out his disciples faith in him. Pwede man nga ayuhon ni Jesus diha diha dayon si Lazarus mga kaigsunan, but ang tinguha o katuyuan ni Jesus is to stretch out the faith of His disciples in Him. The disciples are accustomed, naanad na sila mga kaigsunan, to seeing Jesus heals the sick. Naanad na sila mga kaigsunan nga nakita nila si Jesus nga kung ano na yung mga nagbalatian mo, dool ka niya, iyang ayahon, ayuhon immediately. They were so accustomed to seeing Jesus heals the sick. But for them to see Jesus raise a four-day body to life yeah, is something that will take their faith to a higher level. Amen? Hallelujah. Naanad na sila mga kaigsunan. For how many uh, years? Hallelujah. Naguban-uban sila kang Isos. And nakita na nila si Jesus nga nag sa mga nagbalatian. He heals the lame man and, and enable it to walk. He, he, he heals the blind and enable them to see. But you know what? For them to see Jesus raise a four-day dead body, mga kaigsunan, to life is something that will take their faith to a higher level. Makaingon sila nga. Dilit lang dahil, He is not just a healer, but He is all-powerful that He is able to raise the dead. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen? God's ways are always right. Ang mga pamaagi sa Diyos, mga kaigsunan, kanunay, insakto. You know what? Both Martha and Mary thought that Lazarus would have been still alive if Jesus came early. Muna nga naingon sila. Jesus, if you, if, you, if you have been here, my Jesus would, my, my brother would have not died. They thought nga, ang presence ni Jesus, mga kaigsunan, at their brother's sick bed could have changed the outcome. Dili yung ta mamatay si Lazarus kung, kung, 
Ningat to si Jesus early. You know what? That seems to be the right thing. Di ba? Murag, monta to yung sakto mga kaigsunan. But let me tell you, some, uh, let me tell you something, brothers and sisters. God never made a mistake. Amen. Wag yun sukad na pakyas o nasayup ang Diyos. God never fails. Hallelujah. God always does the right thing. Amen. Hallelujah. Dalay ko ng Diyos. Uh, tungod kay kita nga tao, mga kaigsunan, na doon na tayong mga ginahuna-huna nga maunta ni Angayan or, ma- or basing ingon ani ang buhaton sa ginoo. But you know what? God his, has His own ways. Hallelujah. To do things. But all His ways are right. Amen. There was a story, mga kaigsunan, about a soldier and a spider. I know that some of you have heard this story. But let me share it to you today, mga kaigsunan. During World War II, a U.S. Marine was separated from his unit on a Pacific island. The fighting had been intense and in the smoke and the crossfire, he had lo- lost touch with his comrades. Medyo na nasalaag sa mga kaigsunan. Alone in the jungle, he could hear enemy soldiers coming in his direct- direction. Gilakag siya. Scrambling for cover, he found his way up a high ridge to several small caves in the rock. Aduna yung mga gagmay kay mga kuiba nga iyang nagtuan mga kaigsunan. Quickly, he crawled inside one of the caves. Although, save for the moment, he realized that once the enemy soldiers looking for him sweep up the ridge, they would quickly search all the caves and he would be killed. Nahadlok sa mga kaigsunan. Abisan to, nakatago na siya. Sa usan niya itong mga kuiba, mga kaigsunan. Pero nahadlok siya, nga basin, nung usa-usahon, nung lantaw, sa mga kaaway, nga sundalo, ang mga kuiba, o makaplaga ng iyang gitaguan, o mamatay sa patyon siya. As he waited, he prayed, Lord, if it is your will, please protect me. Whatever you, your will, though, I love you and trust you. Amen. Nag-ampo sa mga kaigsunan. Ingo siya nga, Gino, kung imong kabubuton, panalip di ako, protektahi ako. Ugun sa man ay mong kabubuton o Diyos, di mabago, higog maon, gihapon ko ikaw. Amen. And after praying, he lay quietly, listening to the enemy, began to draw close. He thought, well, I guess the Lord isn't going to help me out of this one. Isa rin nagkaduol ang mga, nadunggan na niya ang mga yapak sa mga kasundaluhan ng iyang kaaway, mga kaigsunan, nakahingon siya nga, basinog di gud siguro tubagon sa ginawa kong mga pag-ampo, di siguro ko niya luwas ang gikan ni niya kahimtang. But just then he saw, sa niya nga itong gisulti, yung yun una, mga kaigsunan, just then he saw a spider begin to build a web over the front of his cave. Nakita sa spider, mga kaigsunan, nga naghimo og iyang balayan, wave, dito sa entrance with the cave. And as he watched, listening to the enemy searching for him, all the while, the spider layered strand after strand of web across the opening of the cave. Nagpadayon, naghimo og balayan ang spider, diha sa entrance, yun sa maong kweba, mga kaigsunan. Ningon siya, he thought, Ang akong gikinahanglan, what I need is a brick, batu unta, a brick wall, and what the Lord has sent me is a spider web. Ingon siya, ang ako unta ang gikinahanglan, batu unta nga murag, murag paril, dili, spider, nga naghimog iyang balayan at ubangan sa, o dia sa entrance sa cave. Ingon siya, God does have a sense of humor. As the enemy drew closer, he watched from the darkness of his hideout and could see them searching one cave after another. As they came to him, he got ready to make his last stance. Nangandam na sa mga kaigsunan kay, what na? Mau na gini? Katapusan na ni? But to his amazement, however, after glancing in the direction of his cave, ang mga kaaway mga kaigsunan, gilabian lang yung kuiba, they move on. 
Suddenly, he realized that with the spider web on the entrance, his cave looked as if no one had entered in it for quite a while. Abi siguro sa mga kaaway nga sundalo, mga kaigsunan nga, tungod kay adunay balay, nagbalay nga spider, wala gid siguro yung tao nakasulod. Ani, kay kung nay nakasulod, di naguba noon ta itong balayan sa spider, mga kaigsunan. And you know what, ingon siya, after that, he said, Lord, forgive me. Pray the young man. I have forgotten that in yours, that in you, I in you a spider web is stronger than a brick wall. Hallelujah. Usay mga kaigsunan, lahi ang atong gina-expect nga pamaagi sa Dios pagtubag sa tong mga pagampo. We are too quick to declare that God is glorious in all His deeds when the circumstance, mga kaigsunan, is favorable to us. Pero in situations nga muraog, there was a delay of His answer and it seems that the way it happened is not the way that you perceive it to happen. Mag-question ta, mga kaigsunan. Just like that young soldier. But in the end, he said, Forgive me, Lord. I had forgotten that in you, a spider's web is stronger than a brick wall. Their brothers and sisters, God's ways are always right. Amen? Hallelujah. Whatever is happening in your life with God, a mere spider's web can become a brick wall of protection. Trust and believe that He is with you and His ways are always right. Just ask for help and you will see His great power and love for you. Amen? Padayon lang, ugtawag ka niya mga kaigsunan. Tungkol kayo nagsaad siya that they that call upon His name shall be saved. They that put their trust in Him, they will never be put to shame. Amen? Hallelujah. There's a quote nga kung nabasa mga kaigsunan na gingon, Sometimes, the best thing you can do is not think. Usay kay maghuna-huna, ramatagdagan kitong ginuhuna. Ngay nani, siguro ang pamaagi sa ginoo, maugit siguro ay buhaton sa ginoo, si brother or sister mo siguro gamiton sa ginoo, or inani sugit siguro ang, 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 ang the way God answers my prayer. You know what? Ingon pa sa akong nabasa nga quote, mga kaigsunan statement, ingon sa, Sometimes, The best thing you can do is not think, not wonder, not imagine, not obsess. Ingon siya, just breathe and have faith that everything will work out for the best. Amen? Ginawa lang mga ikson. O pagbatun, o pagsalig nga ang tanan. Hallelujah. Mahimo lang o mahimo alang sa imong kaayuhan. Amen? Because God wants the best for you. Amen? Hallelujah! God's ways are always right. Nalaygo ng Diyos. Mauna nga, He is glorious in all He does. Nalaygo ng Diyos. Di gid na to ma-question ang pamahagi sa ginoo, mga kaigsunan. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! You know what? Nako is testimony ninyo, mga kaigsunan. So niyang, uh, nag-decide mi ni Juvi nga mag-minyo mga kaigsunan. The thing that is in my mind, regard mga kaigsunan, as, as a pastor, yung, wala ko'y kwarta mga kaigsunan. We, we don't have, I don't have a savings mga kaigsunan sa bank. Or, ang ako rang isaligan nga, ang akong madawat din sa church nga uh, allowance mga kaigsunan. <laughs> Imagine that. And then we decided to get married, to settle down. And you know what, Mike Son? Nalang kikigibarugan nga saad sa gino, diya sa 1 Corinthians 9.14 or 2 Corinthians, ingon dito, they that preach the gospel shall receive their living from the gospel. Ingon siya, kinsa may sundalo nga dili mo dawat sa iyang sweldo. Kinsa may nagtanom nga dili unang mukaon sa iyang gitanom. Kinsa may nagpagatas sa mga mananap nga dili una mo inom sa iyang 
gatas nga iyang gigharvest. Ingon din ito, for they in the same way, for they that preach the gospel shall receive their living for the, uh, from the gospel. So ako itong ibarugan mga kaigsunan. So ni, 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 ni ato mismo mga maginikanan, nang atubang, nang eksorya, muna mga plano. And you know what mga kaigsunan? Ang ginuogyod wants the best for you. Wants the best for us. He uses people mga eksun nga wala na hugi expect nga iyang pagagamiton. And to make that long story short mga kaigsunan, hallelujah, nakaingon ko nga Lord, asa gyud taon mi maka makakuha ni inik nga kadako sa among nagasto mga kaigsunan may ko nga asa man taon mi makakuha ni inik kwarta nga sa ingon ako ganina lagi sinugdanan nagsalig lang ko mga kaigsunan sa akong madawat ini na dili man kayo mi dagko kayo og madawat may suon hallelujah but you know what God wants the best for you amen his ways are always perfect dalay ko nang dios baliko na ko tong giingon sa nga akong gikuha nga quote mga kaigsunan ingon ni Sometimes the ba- the best thing you can do is not think, not wonder, not imagine, not obsess. Just breathe and have faith that everything will work out for the for the best. The laigo ng Dios. God is glorious in all He does. Why? Because God's timing is always perfect. Because God's ways are always right. Amen? Thirdly, in verse 28 to 37, in John chapter 11, if you're following, if you followed our reading, mga in, John, in verses 28 to 37, we will find a most dramatic scene in the passage. This was the time when Jesus went to Bethany after Lazarus died. Here we find Mary, the brother or uh, the sister of Lazarus. Here we find Mary the Jew, and the Jews who came along with her. And even Jesus, weeping, naghilak, mga kaigsunan. Now, I believe Jesus did not weep because his friend died. Natuo, mga kaigsunan, nga ang paghilak ni Jesus, dili tungkol kinamatay si Lazarus. Nga naman, because... He knew it in the first place that what is going to happen will be for God's glory and so that the Son will be glorified through it. So, alang na ko mga kaigsunan, it doesn't make any sense kung si Jesus ni Hilak nung ginamatay si Lazarus nga si Sinugdanan Kabalo naman siya nga kani para sa kimayaan sa, ana, sa amahan o aron ang anak mahimaya pinaagi ni ini. He even told Martha, yang gignan si Martha, mga kaigsunan, that his brother will rise again. So, dili siguro siya ni Hilak tungkol kinamatay si Lazarus. So, the question is, so what made him whip? Ito so, may nakapahilak niya ni mga kaigsun. Hallelujah. I believe Jesus whipped because he saw the damage sin brought to the people. Nakita niya mga kaigsunan unsay resulta sa sala. Sin brings death. Ingon ang Bible, Romans chapter 5, verse 12, in the New King James Version says, Therefore, just as through one man sin entered the world and death through sin and thus death spread to all men because all sin. Verse 33 and 38 gives us the insight into what Jesus felt when He came face to face with the manifestation of the kingdom of evil represented by death. Tantawang ginato mga kaigsunan nun sa gibati ni Jesus. He came face to face with the manifestation of the kingdom of evil and in the realms of death mga kaigsunan. Ingon ang Bible, kung basahon na to mga kaigsunan in verse 33, the phrase deeply moved in spirit, makita na to diha makiksunan in the last portion of verse 33 and verse 38. Kanang, kanang, kanang phrase din na makiksunan ba nga? He was deeply moved in spirit. Mabasa na to na sa verse 33. Mabasa po na to na 
sa verse 38, mga Igsoon. But this phrase, mga Igsoonan, can also be translated as He was deeply indignant. Sa lang translations, in the New English translations, ang iyang pagsulat ni ni, dili deeply moved in spirit, but He was deeply indignant. Ano man, because the verb in imbrimasato, Greek word mga kaigsunan, the verb in inimbrimisato, sura kay basahon mga kaigsunan, nga gibalik-balik diya sa verse 33 and also verse 38, indi- indicates a strong display of emotion. It, it displays, mga kaigsunan, a deep indignation, kasuko. So, kanina diya yung verse 33 and 38, kasi niyang nakita ni Jesus, si Mary and the Jews who are along with him, weeping mga kaigsunan, he felt deep indignation, kasuko. Now, I believe he was not angry with Mary and the Jews who were crying and weeping because Lazarus died. But I believe he was angry because he found himself face to face with the manifestation of Satan's kingdom of evil. Here, the realm of Satan was represented by death. Morning iyang gikalagutan mga kaigsunan, he was deeply moved in spirit or he was deeply indignant. Suko siya mga kaigsunan, mga nihilak siya tungod kay nakita niya ang ang resulta sa sala, mga Igsoon, that sin brings death. You know what, mga Igsoon? Just as you think that Lazarus' life was over, and just as you think that death has put a period in his life, I want to think it over and over again. Nga naman, mga Igsoonan, let me tell you, hallelujah, the third point, point mga Igsoonan, is that God has always the final say. Siya gyud kanunay mga kaigsunan ang naikat kat uh, final nga ikasulti. God has always the final say. Amen. Hallelujah. Let me t- let me tell you something mga kaigsunan. It's not over until God says it's over. Abi na to nga kamatayon ni Lazaro mo na toy period. Muna to'y katapusan sa iyong kinabuhi, mga kaigsunan. Hallelujah. But let me tell you again, it's not over until God says it's over. Amen. Hallelujah. Lazarus was dead and decaying for four days in the tomb. Nadugta, nagkahinay, nagkadugta ang iyong lawas. Four days. That's more than a period. Dili lang tutuldok, mga kaigsunan. But that's an exclamation mark. Meaning to say, Muragwa na yun. That's the end. It's over. But it wasn't over. God put a comma in that place. Ang kaaway put a period. Hallelujah. We sometimes put a period in our circumstance, mga kaigsunan. But God put a comma in that place. And Jesus raises Lazarus from the dead. His organs functioning. The rotting skin is made new again. Hallelujah. Do not put a period where God put a comma. Amen? Usay mo yung untang mga kaigsunan. Mauna ginig katapusan. There's no way out. It's over. But let me tell you, He has always the final say. Amen. Hallelujah. No matter how difficult, how hard, how, fa- how, how, how painful it is, It seems that no help is coming. Just don't quit. Ayaw lagundang mga kaigsunan. Don't stop because He will see you through because He alone has the final say. Siya. Ang may final nga judgment sa tanang butang mga kaigsunan. He will see us through the crisis. Kani nga tong crisis nga tong giatubang mga kaigsunan. He will see us through through this pan, through this pandemic mga kaigsunan. Hallelujah. He will see us through this pandemic not just barely surviving, dili lang kay naka but victorious. Amen. Not just break even, 
Labi na kaninyo nga mga nasa negosyo, murag break even lang, igo-igo lang, igo ragyod ang atong mga ginansya, atong kinitaan. Not just break even, but let me tell you, abundance. Hallelujah. Because God wants the best for you. Hallelujah. For He made us the head and not the tail, above, not beneath, victors, not victims, winners, not whiners. So, do not put a period where God put a comma. Amen. Hallelujah. The Ligon and Dios, God is glorious in all He does. Why? Because God's timing is always perfect. God's ways are always right. And God has always the final say. The Ligon and Dios. Hallelujah. In closing, my dear brothers and sisters, you know what the devil thought that he put a period on Christ when he died at the cross. Habi sa kaaway, ang yawa mga igsona sa tanas, nga niyatuldukan na niyang kinabuhi ni Jesus, siya nang namatay siya nga to sa cross. But you know what? An amazing thing happens. One Sunday morning, the grave was empty. The st stone was rolled away. Jesus has risen. And He always has the final say. Amen. Hallelujah. The Lai Gunan Dios. Because of Jesus' resurrection, death and the grave has no power against us. Jesus has always the final say. Amen. The Lai Gunan Dios. 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 54 to 57 says, Death is swallowed up in victory. Oh, death, where is your sting? Oh, Hades, or hell, where is your victory? The sting of death is sin, and the strength of sin is the law. But thanks be to God, who gives us the victory through our Lord, Jesus Christ. Oh, the Ligon and Dios. Amen. Hallelujah. John chapter 11, verse 25 to 26. Jesus said, I am the resurrection and the life. The one who believes in me will live even though they die. And whoever lives by believing in me will never die. Do you believe this? God has always the final say. So in your situation right now, their brothers and sisters, unsa man kalisod, unsa man kabugat, Unsa man kasakit, mga kaigsuunan, just don't quit. Don't stop. Keep believing. Keep trusting. Hallelujah. Because God will see you through. Because God has always the final say. God, hallelujah, is glorious in all He does. Amen? Dalaigo ng Diyos. Because his, his timing is perfect. His ways are always right. And He has the final say. Amen. Alaygo ng Diyos. Mga kaigsunan, I hope and I pray that this message today, hallelujah, has reached, has reached your ears and was downloaded into your heart, mga kaigsunan. So that every time we face any difficulties or any circumstances that is not favor favorable to us, we would not question God. But we keep on trusting and believing, hallelujah, that He will deliver, that He will come to save us, that He will answer our prayers, that He will come to, to rescue us. Amen. So in this month of celebration. Hallelujah. And bisan nining tibuok nga tuig which is hapit na matapos mga kaigsunan. Dinatoy kalimtan mga kaigsunan that God is glorious in all he does. Walay mga buhat sa Dios nga dili mahimayaon. Walay mga buhat sa Dios even though it sometimes we think of it as dark or hard or wrong mga kaigsunan not right. But God is glorious in all 
He does. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So we, we pray, mga kaigsunan, nga you, 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 you get yourself excited as we celebrate the 50th church anniversary and Thanksgiving celebration sa 50 kakatuigan nga mahimayaong buhat sa Diyos dinis sa atong simbahan sa City of First Assembly. Amen? I'm not saying, mga kaigsunan, nga ang tanang giyagian sa simbahan, puros rin yun hayo haruhay. Ano na yung mga higayon nga miagi kalisod. Pero, God the, God in, in all He God does, He make it more glorious. Hallelujah. God is glorious in all He does. Amen. Hallelujah. May the Lord bless you, mga kaigsunan, as you receive this word and down, download it in your heart today. Let me pray for you. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you. We thank you, Lord God, for your message. We believe, Lord God, that this message is for all of us, O oh God. Lord, we thank you that in everything, Lord, we are to praise you. In everything, Lord God, we are to give glory and honor to you, Lord God. Because in all you do, hallelujah, you do it for your glory and for your honor. Thank you, Lord, for blessing us with the church. Hallelujah. That reaches this year's 50th years, Lord God. And, I, and we believe, Lord, hallelujah, that there will be more years, glorious years to come as we continue to put, to make you to be the center of our church, the center of our relationship. We thank you, Lord. Bless your people, those that are watching in their homes right now, and even those that are watching in what we call the global church, and our friends, oh God, that are watching today. We give you glory. We give you praise. For this we pray in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And amen. Thank you. God bless you. May the Lord be with you at all times. Amen.